hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will work on the profile.php file okay this one is the home we work on the home.php in the upcoming videos but in this tutorial we will work on the profile.php file so let's start so we type all of this codes in the previous video so now let's start our work on the profile.php file so in the body tag we will open up a div and uh, this div will have a class class will be row and then inside this div we will open up another div this div will have a class class will be call minus sm or hyphen and then two and uh, we will leave this div empty and after this div we will open up another div its class will be equals to call minus sm or hyphen sm and then eight so the reason we leave this div empty because it will give some space on the left side of the page over here it will give us a two column space okay and then call minus sm and minus hyphen 8 over here we will open up a php tags and now in this div we will uh, echo out the cover picture and the profile and uh, that's it and now inside this php tag we will echo the cover and profile image so for that we will create a div inside this echo tag div and uh, this div uh, inside this div we will open up another div and then we will close that div and now we will type img src will be equals to single quotes and then cover hyphen img and uh, its class will be equals to the img hyphen rounded so it will around the image borders and uh, its src will be equals to the cover folder and then the dollar user underscore cover variable and this user underscore cover variable is stored in our header.php file over here we include the header.php the header.php file in the profile.php over here so that's why we are fetching that data from the header file so after the after the image src and then we will type alt and it will be equals to cover and that's it so after this div we will open up a forum now we will echo the select cover button and then the update cover button so action will be equals to on the profile.php question mark and then u underscore id will be equals to uh, user underscore id variable remember it the user underscore id is in the header.php file and then add a single code and then method will be equals to post and uh, enc type will be equals to multi part form hyphen data and now inside this form tag we will open up a ul tag and 
and uh, inside this ul tag first we will give this ul tag a class and class will be equals to the nav nav pull hyphen left and uh, style will be equals to position will be absolute and uh, top will be 10 px because we want to display the button on the pro on the cover.php so this will add the change cover and update cover button over here i think so once we all create that you will understand how this all works so top will be 10 px and uh, left will be i think 40 px and then inside this ul tag we will open up a li tag and uh, li tag will have a class class will be equals to drop down and uh, inside this ul tag we will open up a button tag and then we will give this button a class class will be equals to drop down hyphen toggle and then btn btn default and uh, data hyphen toggle will be equals to drop down and uh, over here we will type change cover it's change cover so after the button so after this button we will open up a div and this div will have a class and you know the class will be the drop down hyphen menu inside this div open up a center tag and uh, then a paragraph tag and uh, over here we will type click and then open up a strong tag and then we will type select cover and then we will type and then click then we add a br tag after the click the and then in the strong tags we type update cover so now we will this will echo this will i mean the 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 reason i type this so that the user can understand easily how to change cover picture so after the p tag we will open up a label tags and uh, then uh, this label tag will have a class class will be equals to i think uh, btn btn hyphen info and then over here we will type select cover image or just select cover and then over here we will type input type will be equals to file and uh, name will be equals to u underscore cover and uh, size will be equals to 60 and then we will close that and over here we will add to br tags 
and after the PR tag we will add a button and inside this button tag we will type update cover once we have created all of the profile.php file we will understand why we did all of that code and then name will be equals to uh, submit I think and the class will be equals to btn btn hyphen info and I think that is it for our cover image and the buttons and change this SRT to ID because we already set the SRC equals to and add a closing tag for this image okay so now save this and let's check this out in our browser so this is how our this is our cover image for that user this is the default cover image if we seen in the database the users table here is the user underscore cover okay and here is the button select cover and then the update cover so the select cover button is not working because we didn't add a t over here it's input type equals to file and guys you will be thinking that this design is not so cool so we will design this profile.php file in the upcoming video so don't worry okay so i just change this t i mean it's input type so now let's save this so save this and let's check this out in our browser so if we refresh our page so i know that it will not work because we didn't design this yet so let's design this so for that we will create a new file and the file name first we will save this in the in this style folder and its name will be home underscore style dot css or home underscore style 2 dot css now click save first let's uh, connect this profile.php file with the home.ph home underscore style dot css so for that over here we will type link not li link just remove this one rel is equal to style c type equals to text css text run then css and over here we will type the name so the name is home underscore style i think it's 2 dot css and that's it so now on the home style dot css we'll first design the label the label tag so its uh, padding will be i think 7px and uh, display will be i think table and uh, color will be hashtag fff and that's it and now let's design the input type the input type uh, is the file so over here we will type type will be equals to file and then we will type display none so i hope you understand all of this okay so in the home underscore style dot css we design both of this label and then the input type file okay so now save this and let's check this out in our browser so if we refresh our page so we need to go to the inspect and we need to hard re hard reload okay click on the hard reload just remove all of that and it's still not working oh sorry guys i just remembered that on the profile.php over here this file is in the 
style folder okay so now save this and refresh that and now the button is look perfect and beautiful so now guys let's just to quickly design this uh, cover image so for that we will design this in the profile.php after the head tag so just we remember all of the code easily so over here we will type style and then cover img its id is cover img hyphen img and uh, its height will be 400 px and uh, width will be 100 percent so now save this and now let's refresh our page so now it is equal at the both sides okay look at this now it's look more perfect and beautiful and now if we just make the browser more smaller it will automatically adjust with the screen okay so this in so if anyone using our website in the tablet so it will look like this okay this is so beautiful and perfect website so so guys this is it for this video and in the next video we will work on the profile image okay the profile of the user so thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe